Hey, it's Lucky. Today I have a very important tutorial for you guys. Uh, we're going to be talking about version control, uh, planning out your game, actually getting stuff done, and finishing a game. It's the hardest part of game dev to actually stick with a project and make it to a build that you can publish online and get people to play. I'm going to give you a very basic explanation of version control, uh, planning out your game, and for demonstration purposes I built this blackjack game. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be showing the full process of me building this game and I hope you get some useful tips out of this and during the build process I'll also give some tips on keeping motivation and how to stay focused on your goals and not get too caught up in feature creep and other things that might uh, really destroy your project. So yeah, it's not really the most interesting tutorial for some people but it's very important for starting game devs especially and even experienced ones. So yeah, I hope you'll follow me along and uh, let's get into it. Planning and setup. Probably the most important part of the project. Uh, this is where you're gonna think about the project, how it's gonna be built, uh, what it's gonna require the most time, where you're gonna get your assets, how you're gonna use them. So I'm gonna be using this software called Trello. It'll be the first link in the description. It's a very handy software for organizing your projects and uh, time management. Uh, we're going to be using a very basic setup for this. I'm just going to create three boards, one for to do, one for stuck, and one for done. Uh, and in these boards, we're going to create our cards. And for the cards, you're basically going to uh, create little tasks for your game that you can finish uh, independently. And then when all tasks are completed, you'll have your first build. So you can see I broke down the blackjack game into cards, uh, like uh, card management, chip management, uh, saving the game, uh, main menu, the main game loop. Uh, I try to make every card a task that's about an hour to half an hour to not get uh, stuck on a card for too long, but also not have the cards be so short that the whole system is kind of redundant. So when setting this up, try to imagine how much time every task is going to take. Create a little card for this task. Uh, I also categorize mine with colors, so I know if I'll missed the asset gathering card before I get into the game building. And uh, when you finish all your cards, double check and make sure that once all the cards are moved to the done section, you'll have a finished game. And this way you can uh, really nicely chop up your project into manageable portions and not get too intimidated by the size of something. So now that we have our Trello board set up, let's move on to version control and file structure. Uh, I'd like to create a folder for my project and have a separate folder for assets and the Godot project itself. And then I'm going to create a GitHub repository for the project. If you're not familiar with GitHub, it's basically version control. Uh, that means that you can upload your project in chunks or in uh, steps called comments. And this is handy because if you mess up something in your project or you want to go back and look how you changed something, you can go back in older versions of your software and uh, go back before you messed something up or because a feature you thought was nice is not nice and you want to revert it. Uh, yeah, it's a must for any game project. Setting up GitHub Desktop is the easiest way of using GitHub. I'll link a tutorial on GitHub Desktop below, but it's really basic. It just catches any changes to the project and you can add little comments to what you did and then push it to the online repository to never lose those changes again. Uh, yeah, with this setup, I think we can get started with our first cards. Getting the assets. Assets are a very important part of every game. Uh, having a visually nice game is of course very important for making sales and getting people to play. For my game I'm just going to gather some basic assets. I'm not going to be creating any myself. Uh, I just needed an asset for the card pack, some poker chips I found online and a blackjack table. I also downloaded a font from Kenny. Uh, you can see most of these assets are from Kenny. The sounds and the cards. I just got the chips and the table from Sketchfab. Just found some free models, converted them in Blender to individual chips, and uh, set it all up in my assets folder. I create my assets folder separate from the main project. So if I have to go back and edit some things or delete some edits from the project, but still want to keep them for maybe later use, I still have the folder separate. So yeah, for this project it was quite easy. I didn't have to create anything myself. Of course, if you're going to build a nice original game, uh, you might want to create assets yourself or hire an artist. But yeah, for me, 
intentionally. This is a very easy process. Just getting some cards, some chips, and a table. And I can get coding. I'm making the game. After I set up all the assets, my version control and planning, it was time to get into it. Uh, the process took about three days. I spent about two to four hours each day uh, developing this game. It's very basic, but it had some kinks and stuff I had to work out, like detecting blackjack and having ace values in card hands, and managing save data, which was actually a first for me. So yeah, the process was quite smooth. I just stuck to the cards, didn't get too sidetracked on features and stuff the game didn't need. Uh, and this is one of the most important things in staying motivated. Stick to your planning, don't spend too much time building features that are not going to be in the game or that were not in your planning because getting distracted in projects can be really killing uh, once you spend a lot of time on something that you realize you don't need it gets very demotivating to start back from a point uh, back in time so yeah uh, stick to your planning just get that first first build out there get some footage and uh, definitely share all your process online on the forums and on reddit uh, there's a great community around godot and people can really motivate you to keep going. But yeah, I'll share some general tips on keeping motivation and how I keep motivation in making uh, games and also making these videos. At the end of the day, it comes down to really basic stuff. Uh, just getting started is the most important one. Don't put it off. Just get in there, open the project, start coding, make mistakes, uh, fix those mistakes and make process. Get those cards out of there. Uh, this card system really helps for keeping motivation because you can feel progress uh, way easier. You can just swipe off a card or you can uh, make a planning in your day for like, okay, today I'm going to knock out the sound card or today I'm going to knock out the settings card. And it's really satisfying to see the process of your uh, game going. Some other tips that don't apply to everybody but definitely apply to me when I first got started is uh, some basic stuff. Just have a good sleep schedule actually make time for making a game don't just do it in a rush when you don't really have time really plan it out in your day give yourself the space to fill don't put your time frames too uh, tight game development is usually a lot about managing expectations don't expect a giant game to be done in a day or to find some amazing feature and have the whole world look at your game you really got to do it for yourself and because you just want to create something and once you get into that motivational flow and you get into that flow of building stuff and knocking out cards and seeing your game progress, it's a very satisfying project and it's really, really a lot of fun. So yeah, I also left some features from Blackjack uh, out of this game intentionally, mostly because of time management and I wanted to get this video out in a reasonable time frame, and also because uh, in case there's interest in these types of videos for management and setting up your project. I wanted to do a tutorial on updating a project and publishing maybe. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about uh, making a game, planning a game, getting a game done. I hope this helped some of you and I wanted to take the last moments of this video to thank you guys so much. Uh, I recently hit 100,000 views, uh, 3,000 subscribers and I got uh, accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. So yeah, that's super exciting and thank you guys so much. Uh, I didn't expect this to happen anytime this fast. Um, the support has been amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. It's so much fun waking up every day and seeing the comments and the views. And uh, I'd love to be part of this uh, community where I can help you guys with the tutorials. And you guys send me your projects and I always comment on them. If you have any projects that you made with my tutorials, send them to me. I love seeing it. But yeah, huge, huge thank you. Uh, you guys have been amazing. This has been an awesome ride. And uh, I'm going to keep on making these videos. And if you have any requests, leave them down below. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.